Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be dyeing my hair black. But don't worry, we're not dyeing all of my hair black. I was sitting and I was thinking, how can we spice up this Halloween hair? And I felt like black would be an amazing accent to it. So we're gonna dye some chunks of my hair black today. I was thinking how cool would it look if I dyed the areas where the green and the purple meet black. So I'm gonna do like a black strip right here. And then on this side, we'll do a black strip right here. And then in the back of my hair where the two colors meet, we'll do a black strip there. I couldn't decide initially if I wanted to do that and do like black strips around my hair or if I wanted to do like a section of like halo of black around and underneath. But I feel like because of the color placement right now, it would look better to do the streaks where the two colors meet versus adding in a third color and dyeing like the whole perimeter of my hair black. I just don't think it would look as good. We can always add more black later on, but I think adding the strips here and there, it's just gonna elevate the color even more. So I went ahead, I mixed up some black hair color. Let me show you guys what I used. So I used equal parts of the Manic Panic Love Color. This is a new shade called Black Cat. If you've not seen my previous video, I did try all four new Manic Panic Love Color shades. They're all like natural colors. So I'm gonna be using this black. The black didn't come out of the hair very easily. Um, I was looking everywhere for my Ion Semi-Permanent Black color because the Ion Semi-Permanent Black comes out of the hair beautifully. Like it comes out without any issues. So I literally tore apart my filming room trying to find it and I can't find it anywhere. I don't know if I used it all. I, I know for sure I did not toss it out. So I don't know where it went, but it is currently not here and I cannot find it. So I was like, let's just use this. I feel fine using this. I'm not really worried about it. So I did equal parts of that. And then I added in equal parts of the X Mondo color in the blue and purple shift. This is exactly what it's described as, like a bluish purple color. The reason I decided to do equal parts of each color is because I want the black to have a heavy purple undertone. Right now the color kind of leans blue, like has a bluish undertone. So I added a lot of the purple in there. So that way as the black fades, it's gonna fade more on the purple end instead of fading blue. I just don't want my hair to be like, green, blue, and then purple as it fades. I'm like, let me add a bunch of purple in there so that way as the color washes out of my hair, the strip will turn more of a purple and it'll blend in with what I already have. Normally when I am using semi-permanent black colors on my hair, I add a lot of purple in there because I would rather the black fade out purple and then me deal with the purple and trying to remove that later on than fade blue and be stuck with blue hair and not be able to get it out. So I normally add some purple in there. You can also add a bunch of orange into the black to cancel out the blue so that way as it fades it fades more neutral and doesn't fade super blue that's another option i just would rather deal with purple than any other color so here is the color that i came up with let me swatch it for you guys so you can see what it looks like here's what the color looks like it really does just look black but when you look close up it definitely has like an indigo violety purple under hue to it so i'm really happy with the color and how it looks let's go ahead and section off my hair and get these little sections all over and then we can start applying the black everything is sectioned off we have the areas in the back and on the sides so let's go ahead and put on some gloves and apply the color i'm a little nervous because uh i've washed my hair once since i refreshed it and the purple bleeds so insanely bad every time i dye my hair like a dark shade of anything i instantly remember like oh yeah that's why i don't do this this is why i stick to neons or pastels because the darker shades just bleed like crazy so every time i shower and wash my hair i have to come in here section off my hair before i get in the shower so that way the purple doesn't bleed onto the green sections it's just a whole shit show and it's bleeding so much so uh, i'm sure this uh, black's gonna bleed even more than the purple color so now i'm gonna have to section it even more than i previously was all right let's go in with the black i'm just gonna start outlining the section i didn't really think about putting the black over the green areas uh not sure how that's gonna work but it's fine i forgot that i'm not putting this on blonde hair and putting it on pre-existing color so it's probably gonna look insane as it fades and it's not gonna fade even anyway so i probably didn't need to put the purple in there but it is what it is and it's in there now so who cares I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit here, feather it down to the bottom. Now that I have that applied, I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of like smush it up in my roots here. 
I'm gonna try really hard not to get this on any of the green. If you struggle with sectioning and you worry about colors bleeding and you wanna add splashes of black into your hair, I would recommend getting a couple tape in extensions, dyeing the tape ins and then putting those in. Or you could also take some conditioner and that's what I should have done in this situation. I should have applied conditioner all over this green area. That way when I go to rinse this out, the black is not going to bleed all over the green. Once I get this applied, I might go in with some conditioner and just put it on the parting right there so that way when my head's forward and I'm rinsing the color out it's not gonna bleed all over the green and make a muddy mess let's really hope that does not happen because it's a real possibility there's like no way to prevent black semi-permanent color from bleeding even if you use cold water doesn't matter it's still gonna bleed all over everything which is part of the reason why when I dye my hair black I normally just jump straight to a demi-permanent or a permanent black because I do not want to deal with all of the bleeding in the nastiness that comes with the semi-permanent black. I use my fingers a lot of the time because I can feel my way around a little bit easier. So once I feel like I have that saturated, I'm gonna go in, put more color on the ends here, and then I'll work it down to the very tips of my hair. I just know I'm gonna regret this later. Like, you know, sometimes you dye your hair and you're like, it's gonna look really cool for one shampoo and then it's gonna look like shit. And that's me right now. This is gonna look awesome for literally one shampoo and then it's just gonna be a hot mess that I'm gonna have to deal with. But that's okay, you only live once. Look how cool that's gonna look. You better stop, that looks so cool already. All right, let's go in on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna start in the front area, kind of feather it in at my roots. I put a lot of product on my brush when I do this and then kind of like dab it in at my roots. That way when I reach around to the back and I smush it in there, it smushes through the section on the other side. I'm not too worried about the black bleeding on the purple. I'm more worried about it getting on the green. Okay, now we're gonna go in and smush it through the section at my root. This freaking purple stains everything. Like anytime I itch my hair, my fingernails turn purple. Um, and I'm honestly not sure how long this color is gonna last because of how bad the bleeding is. I might just give up and do some vitamin C treatments to fade it so that way it's not bleeding everywhere because every time I like itch my scalp or anything, my fingers are purple. And every time I wash my hair, I have to section it and it's pretty annoying, but it looks cool. So it's fun for a while, but dang, it gets old pretty freaking fast. I'm gonna go ahead and spin around and I'm gonna do the back, which is gonna be the most challenging. So let's spin around and do that. And I will voice over this portion. Wish me luck, cause this is definitely gonna be the hardest out of all the sections we're doing. It has been a couple weeks since I filmed this and I have to say, even though I added all that purple into the black, it is still fading blue. So my hair currently is green, blue, and purple, which honestly isn't that bad because green and blue and purple all blend in and ombre into each other. They're not like opposite on the color wheel. So it kind of is like a nice blend from one color into the other. So it doesn't look as horrible as I thought it would. But yeah, just beware with a lot of semi-permanent blacks. They do have a super heavy blue undertone and it might look black when you first dye it, but literally within one to two washes, it's going to be like a deep navy color. It doesn't look ugly when it fades, but it's definitely not gonna stay black for very long. That's why I normally just gravitate towards demi-permanent or permanent black colors because they last and they don't bleed and you don't have to worry about them fading out blue or bleeding all over the place. Okay, the color is applied. That was terrifying. Uh, I hope I didn't mess up the green over here because I felt myself touch it a couple times. So um, that was really scary. Let's hope that I can rinse this out successfully and I don't ruin my Halloween hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take some conditioner and I'm gonna apply it on the green section. Um, so while this is processing for 20 minutes, I'm just gonna take that conditioner and like put it over the green. So that way, hopefully when I rinse this out, it doesn't bleed and ruin my green hair. So I will be right back after I rinse this out with cold water and we're gonna see if I pulled this off or if it actually was a disaster and a horrible idea. So please wish me some luck. I'm gonna need it. You guys are not ready for how cool my hair is. Let me show you. I'm sorry. The black piece is in there. <laughs> It really just took this hair color to a new level. It looks so cool. I should have added black in there from the very beginning. Let me spin around and like give you the 360 of what this bad boy looks like. Here's this side. Here is the back. We have that big 
stripe in the back of my hair. Look how cool. Then here is this side. Look how cool. Are you kidding me? This is like seriously some of the coolest hair I've done. It's just adding those little details in there that really like sets your hair apart. I don't know, the green and purple was like really cool, but this is like elevated a level. And normally I wear my hair back, but like half up, check that out. Like half up, half down. Oh, it looks so cool, you guys. I am so happy I did this. Also, can we talk about how I didn't ruin my hair? I didn't have any of the black bleed on any other sections. I was shocked when I rinsed off the black. There was like minimal bleeding. It barely bled. I was expecting the water to be like so dark and pigmented and it really didn't bleed very much at all. I would have been fine not putting conditioner on the green sections because I used two colors that are conditioning based. So the X-Mondo is really thick like conditioner and the um, Love Color colored conditioner is conditioner. It's super, super thick and it's a color depositing mask. Because I use both of those that are very thick and conditioning, it doesn't bleed as much. If I would have used something a little bit thinner, like a door or a color that has like a lot of pigment and isn't super conditioning, then it would have bled a lot more. Sorry, my son just woke up from his nap. So he's coming to see what mommy's up to. Highly recommend if you're gonna do black, definitely recommend using a conditioning based dye because it's not gonna bleed as much, especially when you're doing other colors. You wanna make sure it's not gonna bleed on them. I was terrified that I was gonna mess this up, but look, my hair looks so healthy where the black is. Are you kidding me? I have never had this color combo on myself and I absolutely love it. I love just adding hints of black in whatever color I do. I just think it like excels it to the next level and it just matches my personality so well. That is all for today's video. I will leave a link to X Mondo as well as Manic Panic in the description down below for you guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.